In the upcoming adaptation of Meg, Jason Statham will be pitted against a gigantic prehistoric yes! shark known <laughs> as the Megalodon. Woo! Based on the book of the same name, it will be helmed by National Treasure and the Sorcerer's Apprentice director, John Turtletop. During a recent appearance on the Jim and Sam show, Statham offered up a new description as to what we can expect from the movie. I just did a movie about a shark. It's a cross between, I'd say, Jaws and Jurassic Park. It turned out really good. I mean, apparently. We don't know until we see it. It's called Meg, as in Megalodon. Perry, buy or sell the description of Meg by Jason Statham. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for distracting me, Jeremy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, hashtag pair me. Pair me. Oh, here pair we go me. again. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm a big fan of this book that this movie is based on. And the way that Jason Statham describes it is exactly how the book reads. I mean, Mark Riley even told me that the book that he had said this on the cover. So this is a very appropriate description of Meg the book. The only thing that has been throwing me off since hearing that the movie is going to get made is that... One, Jason Statham is not who I pictured in this lead role. In the book, the lead role is very much like, a, he reminds me of Alan Grant a little. He's very much into the science. And even though the book is this like batshit crazy scenario where a giant shark comes, comes out of nowhere and wrecks stuff, it still is based in enough science that it feels real and scary, kind of like in Jurassic Park when they say, oh, we can collect dino DNA, DNA and make dinosaurs. But then they put Jason Statham in it, and I start to picture things like, like this. And then you say John Turtletaub is directing it, and all of a sudden it takes away the horror of it versus, mm -hmm. let's say, an Eli Roth. Then again, Eli Roth dips too much into the horror genre than what I thought while reading this book. But I just really hope this turns out to be a good movie. It sounds, it sounds like a fun, exciting package. And when I, when I saw the first image of, um, of Jason Statham on set, dressed in character, standing next to the actress who plays Terry, I can't remember her name, they, the way he was dressed, they do look like the character. Something about Jason Statham just like standing there on a boat in a turtleneck rather than being, I don't know, like all rough and tough and crazy. That made me think, okay, that might be the Jonas that I read in the book. So I, I hope it does. I hope it sticks to the source material just because I loved it so much. All right, Dewey Decimal. I'm going to step out of the library for a minute, and I'm just going to say Jason Statham versus the giant shark, <laughs> Jurassic Park, and Jaws. What's not this movie's tracking at four hundred million dollars opening weekend? It's going to be fantastic. I have nothing but good things to say about whether it becomes the greatest movie of all time or one of the dumbest sci-fi Sharknado experiences ever. Jason Statham versus a giant shark. I watched Jaws last night. Jeremy, I am high on sharks, and I've never been more excited about it. How you feeling, buddy? I, I, uh, I if it's supposed to be a scientist, I totally get. It. I feel like Statham will be like, I've seen the entire series of Breaking Bad. <laughs> Jurassic Shark. That's what I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this Jurassic Shark. And I think that yeah. it could be a great thing. It could be complete garbage. But if they no. play up what it is and what it sounds like anyway, it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope it's fun because Jason Statham taking on a shark just sounds absurd. Jurassic Shark coming at you, tracking at 400 million. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the, the dumb popcorn fun that Jeremy and I hope to have with the, the, the literary experience that Perry hopes to have, we all have huge expectations. I love how you're calling me a nerd when I picked up a book about a giant shark. Relax. Not, I never, <laughs> did, the, the, that never came out of my mouth. I just think that you're looking at it from one approach. I'm looking at it from a different, dumber approach. But either way, we're very excited about this movie. That's if there's one person on the panel that can bring us down, to earth and talk some sense into us it's john schnapp let me tell you something sweaties <laughs> this this has a lot of flavor this has so much flavor going on everybody's gonna get so much flavor so much sweaty i buy this i buy everything about this giant shark sweaty jason Statham, sweaty that other person sweaty i the 400 million dollar opening try 500 million dollar my friend i buy this I buy this so hard. This book, hi everybody, uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> this book, Meg, I'm telling you what, right now, Giant Shark, I cannot wait for this movie. I'm with you, I'm with you, I've read this book, I'm going to read the second one, I'm going to read the third one, I'm going to read the new one that's a Hell's Aquarium with this dig, where they capture all the Megalodons. This thing has franchise potential and I can't wait. God, I love when John Schnepp is on the show. All right, well, you heard it here. John Schnepp, huge buy for the new Jason Statham movie, Just Meg.